we're going to take a little quiz together. If I run this quiz and give it to 100 people, 95 of them miss it. You know why? Because they're too nice. You see, we keep associating what we're going to learn here with people or the way things should be done fairly. And it's just data. It's just space. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with an easy little quiz. And you should be able to get a handle on how the space works. Then I'm going to give you two rules. If you follow them exactly, you'll get the rest of this quiz. But something inside you is going to say, I don't think that's right. And you're going to miss this. Don't do it. Have a cold heart. Here's the first part of the quiz. Let me set this up for you. Marketing a database was given 10 gigabytes of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. Sales, another database, was given 5 gigabytes of perm, 5 gigabytes of spool. Marketing created a user called Stan and gave Stan one gigabyte of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. Ooh, sales created Mary and gave her one gigabyte of perm, five gigabytes of spool. After these users were created, how much perm and spool is in marketing and how much perm and spool is in sales. You nailed it, I'll bet. Marketing now has nine gigabytes of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. Sales has four gigabytes of perm, five gigabytes of spool, because each one of these gave the users they created one gigabyte of perm. Perm's like money. If you've got 10 gigabytes and create somebody and give them one gigabyte, you've lost one of them. But spools like a speed limit. You can give that out because that's a maximum limit that everybody can travel. That's under you. You don't lose anything. Here are those two rules that you're going to mess up. <laughs> have a cold heart. Follow these exactly. And you're not going to have any problem here. Here's rule number one. If a user is dropped, their space goes to their immediate parent, their parent at the time. If a user is transferred with the give statement, they take their space with them. Stan has been transferred from marketing into sales. After he was given away with the give statement, how much perm and spool is in marketing? Sales, Stan. How'd you do? Did things go awry? Because marketing has nine gigabytes of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. Sales has four gigabytes of perm, five gigabytes of spool. And Stan, under sales, has one gigabyte of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. The only time you can have more spool than your parent is if you were given away. If you followed your rules to the T, you've got this right. If not, you're part of the 95% that missed this.
remember our rules. If a user is dropped, their space, perm space, goes to their immediate parent. If a user is transferred with the give statement, all their space goes with them. Take a look at where we are right now. Marketing's got nine gigabytes of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. Sales has four gigabytes of perm, five gigabytes of spool. Mary's got one gigabyte of perm, five gigabytes of spool. And our man Stan, one gigabyte of perm, 10 gigabytes of spool. But we just dropped Stan. Stan's been running around the office telling everybody he's the spool doctor and really taking some people off. We had to let him go. Stan's been dropped from the system. How much space is in marketing and how much space is in sales? Stan's been dropped. He has no space. He's not even in the system. Marketing, 9 and 10. Sales, 5 and 5. Mary, 1 and 5. And that's the way it works. Congratulations if you got this. If you didn't, you'll get it the next time. I missed it myself. Yes, miracles happen. So, what you need to know is that's how it all works. And these quizzes will really give you a handle on how space is moved around and how it works. I hope you've enjoyed learning about perm and spool space. That's the most important. Now remember there's temp space and that's just like spool space but only for global temporary tables. We'll talk about that in detail in the future. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.